Will a lower priced fishing reel catch catfish as good as an expensive one? Well stay tuned, we're going to put a couple of them to the test out on the water and I'm going to tell you what I think about both of them. Guys, I think we got one walking off with a bait here. Oh yeah, hooked up, hooked up, hooked up on the old catfish pro reel i pulled off the shelf man i've had this thing for a couple years decided to put some new line on it come out here and put it to work and fish it uh, i've got another one on the other side it's one of their new ones this is a bigger one this one has the dual spool adjustments on it it's their 600 series basically in between an abu garcia 5000 and a 6500 maybe more closer to between a 6500 and a 7000 that's probably closer to the truth that one over there probably closer to an abu garcia 6500 but no exact numbers on any of these reels that are made but this is a good one plenty of line capacity for catching uh freshwater fish like catfish which is what we're fishing for or catching stripers other fish you can cast it and use it uh, fishing probably not the best choice uh it's also a good reel carp fishing this is a uh, good design we're gonna get this planer board off here hook that baby boom boom there we go back on like these things, smooth drag. It's got a uh, dual adjustments on here so you can center up the spool, get it uh, really dialed in for some good casting. I wish it had a power handle on it. Probably gonna put a power handle on it in one of these videos. It's an oversized handle. It's similar to the big handle uh, on the loose. It's got some EVA foam or some rubber up here on the grip. Comfortable, you get enough leverage on it. it it's, a, it's a good handle. It's just, those power handles are sexy. We all know we just want them because they look good. Anyway, this was doing the tricks, doing the job. I do like the oversized compared to the Abu Garcia. It's bigger, it's longer. I don't know, 100 millimeter. So you got plenty of leverage on it. Let's see if we can get this puppy in the boat here and get a look at it. There he is, guys. Look him over. Boom. He's in the net. We've got a big old perch head. Good looking fish. Up here, get a look. Nice blue cat, probably 12 pounds. Nice winter catfish. Little bit of mud, not much. Looks like he's out feeding. Want to do my piece of perch. All right, let's get him back alive. Now that first fish was caught with a Catfish Pro reel. I'll put you a link down in the description where you can go check those reels out and buy one if you'd like. They're a pretty good reel, a pretty good bang for the buck. One thing about the Catfish Pro brand is that they are available in certain Walmart stores around the country, so they're fairly easy to find. The other cool thing is, is that Catfish Pro is coming out with a spinning reel that actually has a bait feeder on it. It's almost like a spinning reel with a clicker. So if you're into using spinning reels over bait casters, which can be a little intimidating for folks, and I understand that, keep an eye out for that spinning reel, or I'm going to put you a link in the description where you can check it out and buy them online. It's a great thing about their products. They're readily available online, and you can get them shipped to you right to your door. I think we may have a fish on this reel. Let me check it. Yes, there is a fish on this reel. I seen it move. It made a little pop pop. It's almost like it's a channel catfish. Uh, it was not a very aggressive bite. And uh, yeah, it's a smaller fish. We're happy to get it. Lose reel. I got these things right when I started the channel. They sent me some to try out. And I have been using them a long time. Used some other stuff, tried it out in between here and there, but these babies are still working. I had a power handle on them for a while. You may have seen some videos with that. Took them back off, put the power handle on something else. Got the regular handle that comes on it. It's actually a big handle. It's an oversized handle, which is nice. It's also one of those reels that's at a really good price point. So, and he catches fish. We've caught some good ones on them over the years. This one, it's not a giant. We got him hooked. See if we can get him in a boat. Oh yeah, he's hooked solid. He's hooked solid. There's a blue cat, blue cat coming on a piece of chicken. Chicken on some of these smaller hooks. Nice fish, good one, happy to get them. Put them back alive. Now the second fish came on a lose reel. I have used these things since my channel started. I'll put you a link down in the description where you can check those reels out and buy one if you're interested in it. They're a good reel. They're not that expensive. They're one of the lower price point round reels level wines that's out there. And the Lose company has been around for a long time. Readily available in a lot of bait and tackle stores and a lot of places online you can find them. Similar design to the Catfish Pro. 
as far as the shape, the build quality. Catfish Pro Reel, a little bit sexier, got a little bit uh, better uh, looking color and the anodized reel and all that. Either reel works really good and these lures have stood the test of time on my boat. Y'all have heard me talk about the reeling bite. I was just reeling in rods to make a move and guess what? <laughs> swear. I dragged a while since that last fish and I was like, man, I'm going to make a move. I'm going to try something else. Sun's going down late in the day. I'm going to try a different place. You can see I already got three rods out of the water. Just put that one in the rod holder, turned and looked, and poof, I'm hooked up. That's the way it goes, man. We'll take them any way we can get them. Looks like a decent fish. Get around that rod. Not a giant, but decent fish. Today's halfway warm. I mean, it's 50s. Uh, better than it has been. No wind, no breeze, no clouds. So we got a little bit of fluffy stuff turning there, but it's just very calm, very nice, very comfortable day. I've just got this hoodie on and uh, it's a very comfortable day to be out here fishing. We haven't got our butts kicked yet with cold. We'll see what's coming. I think we're probably seasonal temperatures now. Uh, I know last year was horrendously cold early. This year, not so much. So we'll take what we can get. I don't think he's, like I said, I don't think he's a big, big fish. But I think he's worth a net. Yep. There we go. Oh, he popped loose right there at the boat. There he goes. Oh, oh, it's about to get him in the boat. Probably 12 pound fish. He uh, hit chicken. Got slime all up and down the line. Hopefully you got to see him swim off. That will happen. That is fishing. That is the way it goes. Lou's did a job. They got it in. A little bit of captain failure. I'm not getting that net out there quick enough, but that'll happen. Boom. There's another fish on the lose reel. Reel is not good luck or anything. It just happens to work out. That's the reel that's getting hit. And that's the way it can be on some of these trips. You can put out, like me, six rods. And man, you've got one or two rods that are catching all the fish. Now, if you're anchored up, a lot of times that's position and where you're casting that bait. Sometimes, you know, you can blame it on having fresher bait. You catch a fish, you reel it in, and if you swap out bait, you put out fresher bait. I think sometimes it's more A, just the position of where it's at when you're anchored up. When you're dragging a little bit different it could be the rattle that you have on there or it could be that you don't have a rattle on the reel so sometimes when you're fishing some of these uh rods and reels will get hit repeatedly and that's what it looks like is happening here oh look at there sun's going down sun's going down we got cakes on the griddle we got a fish on that rod yes sir is he over or under that he's under that one Sitting there talking to my buddy Jeff Manning. He's bringing his grandson out here tomorrow, trying to give him a little bit of intel on what the heck is going on. He's actually the inspiration for me putting these reels back on the boat. He was asking about them. He said, you ever, you still use those? And I said, I got them put up. Used them for a long, long time. And he was the inspiration for me to put these old loos back on the boat and give them a little trial. See if they still work. They work, they're catching fish today. Oh, come on, he's in the planer board line. Oh, that ain't good. That or he hit the line, I can't, oh, he's in that line. We may have a mess here, guys. We may have a mess. I'm gonna try to work him. I'm try to work him to that side. There he is, come on, big boy. I know he's in one line. I don't know if he's in the planer board or not. You hear some ducks in the background. It ain't really ducks. It's some duck hunters over there. Probably gonna get peppered here right at sunset. Something comes in. <laughs> we will see. There he is. There he is, guys. There he is. There he is. He's at the top. Come here, big boy. Boom. He's in the net. He's in the net. That right there, guys, is a better fish. Let's take a look at him. Oh, heck yeah. Oh, heck yeah. Got us a nice and right at sunset. He is in that line too. What did he hit? Let's see which rig this is. I don't see a cork. I mean, it's a cork rig. Let's get him up here. Big old unhappy male. Pretty fish. About let go of my hand. You're getting ready to get let go. <laughs> Heck yeah, guys. About 16 pounds. Nice fish. On a piece of chicken, by the way. Let's get him back alive. 
Another fish, not a bad bite. We're on to some fish here. And again, these fish are all coming on some of these less expensive reels. Yeah, you can go out and pay a lot more money, hundreds of dollars, a couple of hundred dollars for catfish reels. But both of these reels that we're using are under a hundred bucks. And like I said, got links down in the description where you can check them out if it's something you're interested in getting. I like trying these different products out, but listen, not everybody has a pile of money to dump in to go in catfishes. If you're the casual angler, you don't don't get to fish a lot you're really not going to wear your gear out you can get a pretty long life out of one of these reels that cost you less than 75 80 bucks guys i think that's a pretty good hit on that rod right there oh yeah man that was a good that was a good one that was a good one he loaded that thing up oh, it's taking a little bit of line too it's a better fish i'm looking at this rod behind me there's something on here again this is on that lose I'm not sure if this is one of the chicken or not, but I've kind of hit a little sweet spot here after fishing a pretty good ways. Let's drag up. I got a, it's probably on about seven, eight pounds. I ain't got it loaded up. That's all right. I like to give them some room there. Gentlemen, when you got fish in open water, I try not to load the drag up on them. No real need to. We're not pulling them out of anything here. This, I'm gonna get this pointer off of here. Come on, baby, come on, baby. Nothing to see here, folks. Just trying to not get peppered by the duck hunters. <laughs> if there's any good news, the ducks ain't flying from my direction. I do think there is one on this outside rod here. They're not flying from my direction, so hopefully I don't get pellets dropped on me. I got a feeling they may be shooting more cormorants than they are ducks, but I tell you what, guys, if nothing else, it's a beautiful finish to the day out here. Beautiful. That's a good fish. That's a good fish, too. Boom. In the net. In the net. Another one on chicken. Heck yeah. Pow. Look at the bite mark on that girl. Crazy thing is, it's got a bite mark on it. And that ain't that old. That's a newer bite mark. Man, look at that. The old fishing world, it's rough. Good fish on chicken, probably about 14 pounds, maybe 15. Heck yeah. The old lose doing the job after all these years. Let's get that one back alive. Man, you think that that lose reel is the only one that can catch a fish, but it's not the reel. Reel just takes up the line. It's all about the bait, the bait placement, and rod placement on the boat. The Catfish Pro reel is going to make a comeback here, uh, or at least try to catch up. Uh, you'll get to see it one more time in this next fish uh, that gets hooked up on the level line from Catfish Pro. All right, guys, let's see if this fish is on this planer still. I let it swim around out there for way too long. Yes, it is. The old Catfish Pro still going at it. Still reeling them in after all this time. You can tell that thing's been through the ringer, boy. This is the bigger version. This is the 600. Like I said, they've got a smaller one. They've actually got some spinning reels now. I'm gonna try to do some stuff with those things. These can be intimidating. Round reels can. I actually have a <clears throat> video on their website that shows you how to cast one. But yeah, good reels for the money. It's a lot of bang for the buck at this price point. It's uh, affordable. It's a good reel to get in to the round reel level line space and good customer support with the guys there. They will take care of you. Get that going there, boom. Also got a bunch of bait and other stuff they sell too. Shook, he's still there. I don't think this is a giant. I don't think this is a super big fish. We're gonna see what we got there. We're gonna see what we got. Boom, boom, boom. He's acting heavier than I give him credit for. <laughs> Oop. Oh. oh, there he is, there he is, there he is. There he is. Boom, got him. Internet, man, look at that sunset. This is beautiful, beautiful end to the day. Another one in the teens. Let me see if that one's going or hanging. Heck yes. 13 pound, 14 pound fish. A little bit of that football shaped body to it. Good looking fish. Straighten your tail out, let everybody see you. Let everybody see you, let everybody say hey. 
<laughs> Back alive.